M0 FXB Andreas UK. M0 FXB. So the cheapest way to do a hotspot, jumbo spot, MMDVM for Pi Star, where you get a nice fast Raspberry Pi 3B, which is what this is. I put it in a case and I got this second hand with the case for £25 and they are super fast. Then you buy yourself one of these. They've got them on eBay and Amazon, but eBay, they're only about, they're under £20. You do have to solder on the antenna. There's four little points there, but there's no screen on this. Anyway, so once you've got it, you just it does it just slides on over those pins. Now I'm gonna try and put it on, but obviously the camera, you know, it's gonna be in the way of the camera, but we'll try. So you just slide it on. You can see the black things, you have to get them in the in the right, you know, with the pins. So it's just going on now. There you go, and that slid on fine. I just check that the pins look lined up. I'll double check it after the video as well. So what we've also got is a Nextian screen. Now, these, you have to program these with an image. And if you buy this thing here, which is a what they call a USB to TTL converter, you can actually plug this into your PC. And they're very cheap. These are only a couple of pounds on eBay. You can plug them into your PC and you can actually send the image file that makes the Nextion screen work to it. You use a program called Nextion Editor to do that. And there's a, a process of learning for that, but it's okay. And then what you do, you just plug it in there. Plug that in here. Um, and then you've got your... You need an SD card. You only need about four or eight GB, but you know everyone's got an SD card lying around that you put your image on from the Pi Star website. You download the image and then you transfer it using something like Etcher, um, um, and then on you also use the Pi Star website to add your Wi-Fi username and password for your home Wi-Fi. By you create it, Pi Star system has a free software that creates that file for you and then you just drop that into this SD card which you've plugged into your computer sorry which you've plugged into your computer just so you can drop it in there so once it's all um, up and running you'll you'll find that these boot up these Pi 3B hotspots they will boot up in seconds so they're a very good highly recommended way of doing it and this whole setup um, is only going to cost you 25 the screens about 15 um, the, the USB adapter about say three and this adapter here so this whole setup is going to cost you about you know 70 quid um, so it's not too bad and you get to learn by doing it yourself as well which is always handy uh, M0FXB